This is a guide on replacing a screen on an HP EliteBook 840G6. For the replacement process, we'll need the following tools, a plastic pick, tweezers, and a screwdriver. To begin, turn the laptop off and disconnect the power cord. Start by removing the bezel. The bezel is held in place by tabs and glue along the inner edge. Using a plastic pick, pry off the bezel on the inner edge. Start from the left side and move around the perimeter. Using both hands, start unsnapping the tabs underneath the bezel. Go along the perimeter. Close the laptop and turn it over. Using the same plastic pick, release the hinge cover at the bottom of the screen. Remove the bezel. The LCD is held in place with screws in four corners. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the screws. Place the screen on the keyboard. Peel off the tape securing the video connector. Using a plastic pick, open the connector's bracket. Disconnect the video cable. Remove the screen and place it on the desk. We need to transfer the two metal rails with brackets onto the new screen. Using a plastic pick, separate the rails. Normally, we would use adhesive strips to glue the rails onto the new screen, but in our case, the glue is still working. Place the first rail onto the side of the new screen and apply some pressure. Attach the second rail. Place the new screen on the keyboard. Reconnect the video connector. Close the connector's bracket. Secure it with clear tape. Caution, it is very important not to force any of the connectors. As well, you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. Lift the screen up. Now we can test the new screen. Turn the laptop on. The startup graphics appear and we can finish the reinstallation process. Replace four Phillips screws in each of the four corners. Pull the hinge cover away from the screen to make room for the bezel. Replace the bezel. Go around the perimeter, pressing firmly to snap the tabs back in place. Close the laptop and make sure the hinge cover is snapped in in the bottom of the screen. Turn the laptop on and we're done.